For some types of documents, it is handy or even required to add line numbers. In this video, I show you how easy it is to add, position, manage, and format line numbers. Many types of documents require the use of line numbers. Typically, they are used for legal documents. For instance, each line of a legal contract may need to be numbered. If this describes the type of documents that you work with, you'll be happy to know that Word provides a way for you to add the line numbers that you need. The first thing to remember about line numbers is that they are a section level layout option. Now that sounds like a mouthful, but it just means that you can control line numbering on a section by section basis in your document. If you need to understand more about sections, I'll put a link to a quick tip about that topic in the upper right corner of the screen. The quickest way to add line numbers is to make sure that your insertion point is in the section that you want to use line numbers, and then to go ahead and display the layout tab of the ribbon. Clicking the Line Numbers tool right down here in the Page Setup area displays some options. These options control how the numbering occurs within the section of the document that you're working within. The default is to have none, which is no line numbers, but you can specify that you want continuous line numbers or that you want them restarted on each page or that you just want to restart them at each section. Now the next option down here, suppress for current paragraph, well, we'll get to that in just a few moments. What I want to do right now is go ahead and pick continuous and I just click on it and you can see what happens within the document. We end up with line numbers down the left side of the document and they continue from page to page to page throughout the entire document. You should note that you can see line numbers only when working in print layout view. If you are working in one of the other views, the line numbers are hidden. They will, however, appear on printouts regardless of the on-screen view that you are using. There's another point to realize about line numbers. They only number lines in your main document. They won't number lines of text that may appear in tables or in text boxes, any of those objects like that. Plus, they don't number any white space that may automatically be added before or after a paragraph. You can see that on the screen here where you look between lines 7 and 8 and there's white space on the screen, but it's not considered a line. That's just white space and that white space is not numbered. If you want to exercise some control over how the line numbers are incremented and where they appear on the page, then you need to display the line numbers dialog box. To get to the dialog box, go ahead and click on the line numbers tool again, and then you go down here to line numbering options. Now, what happens then is, is that Word displays the page setup dialog box with the layout tab selected. We haven't gotten to where the options actually are. It's interesting to note that this is the same dialog box that is displayed if you click on the small icon in the bottom right corner of the page setup group on the layout tab of the ribbon. What you need to do when this is displayed is go ahead and click the line numbers button right down here at the bottom. And when you do, you see a very small dialog box that just is titled Line Numbers. The controls in this dialog box allow you to specify how the line numbering restarts. We talked about that a little bit earlier when we looked at the options underneath the Line Numbers tool. So we won't go over those again, but I want to have you pay attention to these three controls right up here. The first control specifies the starting line number for uh, this section of the document. The default is that you start at number one, but you may want it to start at some other line number uh, for some reason. The next one indicates how far the line number appears away from the text. It is set to auto 
by default, but if you want to, you can specify a different amount in here. Now I should note that if you uh, increase this to the point where it won't fit within the margin of your page, then you won't see the line numbers when you look at your document on the screen because you've pushed them outside of that margin. For instance, if I increase this to, oh, I don't know, we'll say an inch and a half, well, I've only got a one inch margin on this particular document. And if I click on OK and close the dialog box, notice what happened to the line numbers. They no longer appear on the screen. They're still there. I've just pushed them outside of the margin area so that they're no longer visible. So I can go back to this line numbers uh, dialog box here and I can pull them back into view by just using some uh, setting that allows them to be placed within the margin. We'll just say we're going to do it at six tenths of an inch here. The third option in this area is how you want the line numbers incremented. If you want them incremented by some value other than one, maybe you want them incremented by two or three, you can specify that here and it'll be reflected in the line numbers that are shown up within the document. When you're done with your settings in here, all you have to do is click OK and again click OK and you can see those line numbers on the screen. Notice that they're over quite a bit on this particular document because we specified that they be six tenths of an inch from the text on the page. If you want even more control over how your line numbers look, you're going to have to jump into the world of styles. You see, the line number's appearance is controlled by a style called, conveniently enough, line number. To make changes, let's go ahead and display the home tab of the ribbon right here. And then what I want to do is I want to click this small icon right down here in the bottom right corner of the styles area. And when I do, it displays the styles task pane on the screen. I'm going to make this just a little bit larger in here. And what I want to do is I want to look in these styles for the style that's called line number. Now you may not see it in your styles because what is displayed here may be different in your system than it is in my system. But if you can't see it, then you need to click on options right down here and that displays the style pane options dialog box. Using the top drop down list, make sure you select all styles and then click on OK. And the styles list should then look very similar to what you can see on my screen here. And I'm going to scroll down until I find the line numbers style. You can see that style right here where it says line number. Remember that the styles are not listed in alphabetical order, so you may have to look through each one to find exactly this particular style. But I'm hovering the mouse pointer over that style, and what I want to do is I want to cl uh, click on this down arrow at the right side of that style name. I can see the options that I can take at this point, and I want to modify. I'm going to change this style. And when I click on that, I see the Modify Style dialog box appear on the screen. This is for the line number style, as you can see at the top of the dialog box. And I can use the controls in here to change how I want the line numbers to appear. So, for instance, if I wanted to, I could change them to be bold, and then I'm going to change them to be, oh, I don't know, we'll make them orange. And when I did this, you see that it changed the style definition down near the bottom of the dialog box. And when I click on OK, what happens is, is that those line numbers, you'll notice at the left side of the screen that they're changed to reflect the characteristics that I specified within that style. And at this point, I can go ahead and uh, dismiss the styles task pane so it's no longer on the screen. Now there is one other control for line numbering that you need to understand. It's very possible 
that you want to use line numbers in your document, but you don't want a few paragraphs numbered. For instance, if you're numbering the lines in a legal contract, you may not want the lines in the signature block at the end of the contract to be numbered, or you might not want your headings to be numbered for some reason. To suppress line numbering, all you need to do is click within the paragraph that you want to affect or select the paragraphs that you want affected. For instance, because I've placed the insertion point within this compensation heading, that's the only paragraph that is going to be affected by the changes that we make. Now I can go ahead and display the layout tab of the ribbon. I'm going to click in line numbers again, and I can choose this option right here, suppress for current paragraph. And when I do that, Notice that the line number is removed. It skipped right over it in the line numbering. I don't know if you remember or not, but just a moment ago, the first line underneath this heading was line number 13, and now it's line number 12. The numbering actually skips the paragraph and picks back up right after that paragraph. Now you know how to add, control, and format line numbers in your document. I hope you found this information helpful. If so, be sure to click the subscribe button just below this video. Also, click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.